my name is Suresh Kumar and I, I initiated this uh, concept of, uh, or a project called Sarja Prakaris to archive uh, kind of a local recipes and the food knowledge, traditional knowledge about it, what it would have been like 50, 60 years back. So trying to kind of a rework and revive that, revive that in a sense and intervene in some kind of a farming uh, uh, gardening activity around where actually now it's 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 a little bit difficult to do in the suburban situations. My work, I couldn't separate where where the teaching ends or where the learning ends and where my practice ends. You know, so it's blurred actually. So it made a very very interesting uh, uh, kind of a composition for me that even to make a very gardening project or a, or a archival food archival project like Sarja Prakar is grounded to again to the community, again bring uh, the some kind of a student community from the university and the schools around Sarja Prakar to make this possible, and also just that. What we are not focusing is on that uh, that year is that I do, I'm not working with artists to bring their uh, artwork and to reach out to the larger public, but rather your farmers and the gardeners and also the the women uh, in the village are some kind of a means. They are the some kind of uh, art makers or the producers. You know, through through their uh, uh, work or through their efforts or through their knowledge or through their uh, craftsmanship I can say because gardening and farming is also kind of a craft or, or art you call so through that I'm reaching out and bringing a lot of people again back to here so if there was no this strict uh, this uncertainties about this COVID thing this this place in one year would have been like an uh, like an art cafe or art canteen or uh, or, uh, or or it or it would have been like a community space by large but right now we are just connecting it one to one uh, we are not making events still because this, 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 the fear about this COVID thing is around. So we didn't want to disturb that in a sense like unnecessarily force ourselves and become vulnerable by making events and things like that, you know. I was very particular about connecting to the people all the time. So I would not uh, like alienate my practice in the sense that uh, uh, to confine to a certain audience only. But I would rather bring it down again and to see what, where I belong to or, where, where, or what I was connecting as, an, as a teenager also. So keeping that in mind, I was a single parent and, I, and my mother was helping me to bring up my child to, uh, together. So I followed keenly, very keen uh, then come uh, then my earlier days that what was what she was cooking and what is its knowledge about and how is it why is it so special and all that so in that process actually i valued that i wish that i would archive all the thing but uh, nothing i didn't lose as such because my aunts around this villages there are many uh, because the community is very so closely knitted here so every village around ha will either have a relative or an aunt or an uncle here so uh, that that I can see that all the recipes are still intact, but just that loss of ingredients, you know, is is actually is missing. So that's why right now, actually, the focus is about not just the recipes and the the what I, the nostalgic idea of eating something very nice in your childhood, but but to look for that, to investigate where it's gone. So that's why this whole exercise of two three years of mine, starting from a terrace garden to now, to focus on the wild vegetables, wild greens, and uh, local local uh, uh, vegetables which would thrive naturally so I was in the middle of this uh, or kind of fag end of this project Sarja Prakaris and uh, then this uh, old COVID uh, scenario unfolded in a, in a very uh, unfortunate way so that time the very first week I registered as a COVID warrior so we made a small whatsapp group and we started uh, sourcing resources and uh, first thing I wanted to connect was like a lot of people did a lot of very different kind of work like uh, monetarily helping them and you know uh, uh, providing them ration and all that but uh, for me what was touching was working working with on food for such a long time uh, I felt that cooked food uh, nutrition cooked food was very important uh, for them that we provide one good meal you know apart from the other help we wanted to do so I was very keen on that cooked food part so luckily the Wipro at the time the the, the campus nearby to us uh, was providing food for many assembly constituencies so we we through voice of Sarjapra and we made connect to the Wipro and then we would go get food for 75 non-stop days every day in the morning and distribute all through this area for the migrant workers. So this was something that I could relate. Since I was working on the Sarja Prakaris project, that first thing was that I felt the value of that good food for this at uh, this very depressing and very, very uh, uh, you know, like uh, uh, very uh, troubling times.